Hi, I'm Dr Tom Young, the Technology Manager for STRA and today we're going to explain how green infrastructure can be used to help store stormwater on sites and how that can be linked to sports turf surfaces. So to start off with we'll look at what is the normal hydrological cycle for most buildings and sites. So what we've got here is a, a, a normal roof that is uh, very common on most buildings and this represents uh, most buildings or, or sites in terms of the drainage plan. So if we have a, an artificial rain event provided by Aaron, you'll see the water is taken off the surface, it's into a guttering system or a drainage system and it's taken away off the site as quickly as possible and into the main drainage system. Now that's worked very well for the last 200 years but what's started to happen now is that the pipes that this water is drained into are now full and water companies are telling people you can no longer attach into our drainage system. So civil engineers have looked for alternative ways of solving this problem and we're going to go through a few of these now. So the first type of solution you can have is called a blue roof and this is where you store the water that falls on a roof or a site in situ. So we have a, another rainfall event now. Essentially all we're doing is trapping the water on site and then slowly releasing that back into the system when it's appropriate. A lot of these systems don't actually have manual taps, they just have simple overflow systems. The whole concept is you can see we're very slowly releasing that water back into the whole drainage system. It's much slower, it's not as violent as the water that all fell in one go. So that works well, it's very efficient to maintain all that water on site, physically holding it. Obviously that's not appropriate for all roofs um, due to weight restrictions, but you can have these types of systems for low car parks, for example, where weight is less of an issue. But what we can do to, uh, to make things a bit prettier is use vegetation on roofs and these are called green roofs uh, and this can go from a very basic system like you see here where we're using plants called succulents which are very drought tolerant uh, and they can survive changes in water very quickly as well uh, and these survive basically anything. It's perfect for putting on shallow layers of substrates and sticking on roofs where maybe the weight loading isn't, isn't as great. You can also use much bigger plants um, but the substrate depth has to increase and obviously that increases the weight loading. So we have another rain event here. You'll see this probably isn't as efficient as a blue roof at holding the water. But what it does do is it slows down that flow. The water has to go through that substrate and come out the bottom. And you'll see here that it will slowly leach out and have the same effect as the blue roof at slowing the flow down. What you also get from green roofs is additional benefits. So greenery in general in cities is very good at cooling the local environment which helps prevent heat, heat related deaths and it also makes the environment much more pleasant for people to live in. Aesthetically they're also very nice and can be used to help buildings get planning permission and also improve the, the value of certain properties. So we've had a blue roof and a green roof but what you can actually do is combine these two together into a, a system called a blue green roof and we've demonstrated that with this final system over here. You can see the planting design has changed slightly and we've got more herbs and perennial species here but you'll see as Aaron irrigates this roof that the water goes into the substrate but what we do have below is a tank which holds on to the water. So what you're having is a double whammy. You've got the green roof holding the water and then you've also got the tank holding onto the water as well. And then what you'll find is that water can then be reused by the plant as irrigation water. So it's reusing it in a continuous cycle. So barely any water will come out of this tap even if it's left open. And the whole point of this is it almost becomes a circular cycle. You can actually direct water as well from other parts of the site into this, into this system or, or roof. 